Ray, thank you so much, Rich. I am super excited to be here with you guys tonight. Um, this is about building your vision and time management. Two things that have really helped me be successful in both running my bar and my horse training program. Um, I'm a professional equestrian athlete of 23 years. I've had my own horse farm that entire time. So I've juggled a lot of different hats. And the one thing that's really helped me out a lot is having that long-term vision. And so I want you guys to grab some, grab a pen, grab paper. We're gonna chat about this here real quick. Um, I want you to start thinking about what can you do in the next five months? And that doesn't sound that far away. Of course, we're all kind of in this quarantine point right now, um, lockdown point. But the next five months are going to be essential to your business. And I want you to think five months and then five years. Five years from now, where are you going to be? And to think about that, um, think about one of, the, one of the best athletes of all time, is Kobe Bryant was one of the best athletes all in time and um, rest in peace. But I have to tell you guys, when he was 12 years old, he was riding the pine. He was not a great basketball player. He was struggling. Five years later, he was drafted straight out of high school into the NBA. The way he did it was through vision, focus, and purpose. And so I want you to be thinking about that. Where are you going to be in the next five years. What do you want? And be as specific as possible when you're writing that down. What I also want you to think about are what are the five biggest problems and frustrations that your, your customers have, that your audience has, that your clients have? What are they when it comes to their horses and their soundness? Because that's a big thing, right? I always tell people, like, if, if you don't have a sound horse, you're not going to have anything. There's nothing to ride if your horse is hurting. And so that's where we're coming from with the Summit experience. The next thing you want to write down are what are the five qualities that you would like your ideal clients to have? And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read to you my five client qualities. I don't know why, but for some reason I picked a G as the letter. And they are generous, grace, grit, gratitude, and growth. I want clients who want to grow, who will give me grace, who have the grit to stick with it, who live a life of gratitude, who wake up every morning and they are thankful for the life that we get to live. So think about the five things, the five qualities that you want your clients to have and stay very, very focused on that. The next thing I want to chat with you guys really quick about is success. Success, and this is something I learned from Todd Stottlemyre, world championship, um, three-time world championship uh, baseball player, is success is not guaranteed. Pain on the way to success is guaranteed. Will you embrace that success or, and the pain that comes with it or will you deflect it? And this is something that we see all the time. I've had riders start riding with me and then it gets hard. And when it gets hard, they have that point. There is that point in your riding and with your horse where you have to decide, are you gonna go forward? Or are you gonna quit? With this business, same thing will happen. There'll be moments where it's going to get hard. Are you going to keep pushing through? Are you going to embrace that pain, learn the lessons, make the mistakes, and move forward? Next, I want you to ask yourself, what are my anchors? An anchor is something that is holding you back from living the life you've dreamed of. For some people, it's going to be fear. For some people, it's going to be self-confidence. Identifying those anchors and then starting to find ways to work through them. A lot of the top leaders in this company are really good at working through anchors, all of the anchors, because a lot of us have experience with working through it, not only with our horses, but we have experience working through it with direct sales and MLM companies. And I want you to think about on a regular basis, this is, this is my time management thing. Every single thing I do, I ask myself, 
is this the best I can do? You know, is my, my, my peak of where I'm at, is this the best I can do? Is this, am I being the best mom? Am I being the best trainer? Am I being the best writer? Can't, is this the best I can do? So I hold myself accountable and I hold myself to a really high expectation. Same thing when it comes to my summit. I have a board that has each client when their loading dose was because the loading dose is essential. The horses have to have and the dogs have to have that loading dose. I, I have written down when their loading dose was, when their subscription is, when their next subscription is, and I keep track of those things because that allows me to work at an exceptional level. And then I want you to think about your time management. This isn't a business that requires you to work full, full time. You're not going to be spending eight hours a day on the phone. If you are, you might be doing it wrong. I'm going to tell you right now that I, every morning when I wake up, the first thing I do after my gratitude is I reach out to five people. I spend 20 minutes reaching out to five people and it can be five follow-ups, five new reach outs, five people who I've had on my mind and I'm like their horse or their dog is needing this product. I need to connect with them. And I make those reach outs 20 minutes every morning at noon another 20 minutes follow up I connect with my team I see what people are doing what do you need help with how can I serve you how can I help you and then every evening before I go to bed my husband and I like to sit together and like to watch a little bit of Netflix or TV or whatever I'm still working I do those reach outs then because I have a full-time horse farm and fitting this business into the nooks and crannies of your day is key to your success successful people get stuff done they don't make excuses for how much time they have because none of us have a lot of time right although right now a lot of people have more time than normal the next thing I want you guys to do is I want you to get ready to go to war for your dreams and by war, I'm saying W-A-R-R. -R. That is words. Think about your words. Prepare your words. When you're reaching out to somebody, don't, don't send them kind of a spammy message. You can reach out to them and say, hey, have you heard of Summit? Like, horse people, we don't usually spend a lot of time glorifying things. We just say, hey, this is this, this is this, this is this. That's how horse people work. We like to get the information. We like to know how it's going to work on our horse. And, and that's how I send people messages and I do my reach outs. The next thing is actions. Okay. You can have the perfect product. You can have the perfect business, the perfect comp plan, the perfect everything. But if you sit on your hands and you do nothing, nothing will happen. If you post on Facebook and you expect the world to come rushing to your door, I don't think that's gonna happen either. I have found that the more activity, the more actions, the more times you can make a list and follow up and connect, the, the bigger and better your results are going to be. We have a lot of people doing great launch parties and they are having incredible success, but the launch party isn't enough alone. You have to have the follow-up, you have to have the reach outs, and you have to stay consistent with your actions. The third thing is results, okay? You want to make sure you keep track of your results. You wanna know what are your clients experiencing? How can that be improved? If you have a question, reach out to your sponsor. And if your sponsor doesn't know, reach out to the person who brought them in. Keep reaching up until you get an answer. That's, we all work together as a team, but keep reaching up until you get an answer. And you want to make sure you get the right answer, right? So just keep asking until you get it. And then the, the, fourth, the fourth letter, which is the last R, is rewards. Reward yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Set up a goal and say, okay, if I get those eight loading doses at the beginning of the month, brand new customers or current customers, eight loading doses is $1,000, like Rhonda had said on a previous Zoom. When you get to that, pat yourself on the back, plan a reward, a spa day, or if you're a horse person and you need a new bit, get a new bit, plan a reward for yourself so that you can celebrate. Because I think us horse people, we tend to beat ourselves up and we don't celebrate our wins enough. We celebrate in the moment, but we go right on to the next one. 
take some time and celebrate and reward yourself. Here's one of the last couple things I want to leave you guys with. Journal. I know that's totally like foreign for a lot of horse people, but here's the thing. If you don't journal, you are going to miss out on the best books you will ever read. I'm going to say that again. If you don't journal, you will miss out on the best books you will ever read. When I go back five years to think five years ago, well, five and a half years ago, I started my journey in network marketing. And five and a half years ago, I was in a terrible place. But reading those journals and seeing that perspective, it allows me to remember where I was so I can appreciate where I have arrived at. I mean, and it's not even an arrived, it's a journey. It's a continued journey to the next level and the next step. And then the last thing I want you guys to, to write down, and this is a great journaling prompt. What do you want to be known for? What is your legacy? What do you want to leave behind? What do you want people to remember you for? We had to do, um, we had to do a an exercise, we had to write our own obituaries, which is a little bit gruesome, but we had to write our own obituaries as if we passed away today, right? And if you're living a life without looking back, without fear and without regrets, that's not gonna be terrible. But if you're looking at yourself and you're going, why have I waited this long with this incredible company and this incredible opportunity? Why have I waited to get started? Today is the perfect day for you to get started. Today is a perfect day. Reach out to your sponsor and say, hey, look, I'm ready to get started. I wanna leave a legacy with Summit.